Hello, hello. I'm back. All right. Hey, Kylie. All righty, I am just loading up my tablet so that I can see everybody's wonderful comments, etc., etc. Oh, hello, Delphina. How are you, sweetheart? <laughs> hey, Kathy, Mandy, Kylie. Comments are on. So, how are we all doing today? I hope you're all good. Thank you for coming back. And hello again, Sharon. I'm seeing you more than I'm seeing my own family at the moment, love. How funny is that? Hey, Mandy. Okay, so I'm going to make a bit of a start because I want to cover lots and lots and lots of things today and um, talk to you about Lindy's embossing powders, um, some magicals and showing you a few different tips and tricks. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it is actually freaking cold. Um, I've got no idea. It currently says that it is 11 degrees here in sunny Adelaide. Um, the dogs are snuggled up inside in bed, so they're not annoying the crap out of me, which is a bonus. Um, but, um, but yeah, so I thought I'd show you a few techniques using the Lindy's embossing powders, the new magicals, and um, hopefully get to create a little project. Sorry, it's just started to rain here. I was wondering if it was actually going to start raining today and down it comes. Okay. So the Lindy's, most of you know that I am the Australian educator for Lindy's Gang. I absolutely love, love, love their products. And I, Lindy's do Magicals, which are the pigment powder. And they do the embossing powders as well. And they also do a spray, uh, a spray ink. So what I love about the Lindy's embossing powders is that most of them have this beautiful mica to them. So this is just the little swatch sample that Tracy and the team sent over for me. And can you see on camera how amazing that color is on those? So... Um, there's so many different colours in the collection. Um, there's some beautiful, beautiful colours. And what they do have are these beautiful angel wings ones here, which are clear embossing powders with shimmer over the top. So there's ruby, there's peacock, there's a sapphire, uh, mauve, and there's some beautiful colours there. So I just thought I would go through a few techniques with you. Uh, and demonstrate a few different things that you can do with, um, hello Bronwyn, um, yeah, do a few things with embossing powder and have a little fun along the way. So in the last few months, Lindy's have bought out their chunky embossing powders. So these are amazing because they have these beautiful flakes of colour in them. So this one is called Don't Scream Aquamarine. I do love those names. Um, so that's pretty cool. Then we've got Groovy Granite and that really does look like a granite bench top. That's so very cool as well. Uh, that's Marvelous. And again, it's got that beautiful marble look to it. So I've just stamped an image here and then I used an embossing pen to write up there. Uh, what else we got? Chip off the old black. And I don't know if you can see, but that black, oh, there it is. That black's got that, those flecks of gold through it. Uh, stunning. Hey, Cheryl. Um, verdigris. So this is lovely. Carefree verdigris. This is a stunning colour. It's got that real antique look to it. Silence is golden. So this one is lovely and it has a gold and black and silver and a little glitter through as well. Chalk it up so you can see that white 
It's a real chalky one with a gold fleck through it. Of quartz it is. Beautiful hot pink. And then we come into some of these new super fine colours. So Cool Man Copper. You can see that shimmer sitting in with that. That's a really lovely, it's almost like a rose gold. The gold is amazing. I really, really love this gold. It's got a beautiful shine to it. Slam Dunk Silver. It's just stunning. Uh, Boogie Down Black is exactly that. It is solid black, baby. Chrome doesn't pay. So this is a stunning chrome. And you can see that it's got that real chrome look. Totally different to the silver. This has got a high shine to it. Tin Roof Rusted. You know you all sang that in your head then, didn't you? Because I totally did. Um, Wows is white. Okay, so I've done this on black gesso. But you can see that that's a lovely solid white. And then there's white on white. And then we're back to Don't Scream Aquamarine. So there's some gorgeous colours in those. Plus, there's also, um, like I said, some of the other shimmery ones. So this is Poinsettia Red Gold. So it's a beautiful red with some with a gold tinge through, to it, through it. So I'll be using a few of these different ones today. So I'm going to make a start. Um, what am I going to demonstrate first? Stamping with Magical. So a couple of things that you have to have to do heat embossing is... An embossing ink pad. So an embossing ink pad is imperative because you want to be able to, you want something for those crystal, those embossing crystals to stick to. So what that means is you want to be able to, um, yeah, for the embossing powder to stick to something. So I've just got some plain cardstock here. This is the medium that I'm going to use. Uh, I'm, I've cleaned my stamp. So this is a super clean stamp. Before I do anything else, I've also got a couple of scrap pieces of paper floating around. I'm going to have one piece of paper to catch my overflow. Um, what colour am I going to use? I think I might do Wow's is white and I'll start with that one. So I apply my ink pad direct to the stamp. It is a brand new ink pad because the one that I had was a bit embarrassing um, to get that out to show you. And I've just got this little circle of cardstock and I'm going to stamp straight onto there. So the next thing you need to do, whoops, there we go. The next thing you need to do straight away while this is still wet is apply the powder. Now you can use a um, anti-static cushion. Um, I would have if I could find mine, uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So you can see that that embossing powder has stuck to that stamped image on this bit of paper. I'm quickly going to tip that back into the jar so that I don't knock it over, pop the lid on. And we're good to go. So this one here is just the white. So when you are heat embossing, you need to use your heat gun. I like to run my heat gun for a moment to get it up to temperature and then get it straight on there. So when I am heat embossing, there's no point doing this. This doesn't do much at all. You want to, I mean, it does, but it just moves the hot air around. So what I'm going to do is just heat set it, then move it. And I'm watching the little crystals melt. And it doesn't take long to do, and you can see it melt. It's, it's that simple. And then stop. So you can see that it's got that shine to it, which means that it's done. So that, oh, actually, you know what? I've actually missed a bit, but you know what? Too bad, there it is. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I'm going to use some of the new Magicals and I'm gonna color over the top of that. So the new Magicals I have got here are the Mountain Meadows set. Uh, 
a bit of a tip if you buy a set like this and you cannot get this lid off because it doesn't it's, it's a bit hard to get off get your scissors in there which i can't find mine and just pop it off perfect so i am going to use stormy sky and pop a very small amount into my palette that's probably too much but you know let's commit to it and where is my pipette oh, i think it's just about time to crack into my emergency kit cat i've just spotted it up on my desk here Okay, so a little bit of water in there, and I'm going to use a paintbrush. Uh, paintbrush, paintbrush, paintbrush. Didn't really think this through. Yep, that one will do. And here's my colour. And I'm going to colour straight onto here. So the embossing ink is working as a resist, which is fantastic, that embossed image. that's really really pretty and I've just got to keep going because you know so there you go so straight white on white really really effective um, while I'm showing you I also got in the gleaming gold uh, I have got oops, paintbrush on the floor um, what this is is a color that goes over the top of everything else so if I'm just going to use my wet paintbrush and just dip a fraction in there and I can paint over the top of that and it's going to add a bit of a shimmer because this set that I just showed you the mountain meadows is the other flat magical so they are the ones that have no shimmer to them but it is so very easy to add shimmer or I could pop the shimmer into here so now my flat magical has become a shimmery magical so they are Oh, that's so pretty. Um, really, really easy to use. Um, you can also use it by itself. The Gleaming Gold is a beautiful colour, just by itself, super sheer. So I'm going to pop that aside before I spill it. And I really should have got that squeaky chair fixed. Um, so that's the Gleaming Gold and the Stormy Sky on top of white cardstock with white stamping. Technique number one, done. Technique number two, let's talk to you about chipboard. So if I've got some chipboard, um, and I've got some chipboard here, and I want to heat emboss that, there's a couple of ways I can go about it. Hello, Vicky. Um, I, can, I can use, actually, before I start, I want to choose the colour. What am I going to go with? What's this one? This one is called That's Marvelous. Okay, so what I tend to do with this one is pick it up and I dip my chipboard straight into the ink pad. So you do need a nice juicy ink pad for that. Um, and I need some baby wipes. Clean my fingers off. Grab my piece of paper again and I can tip this straight on here. Now, because this is super chunky, can you see all of the chunks in that and the beautiful flakes? Very pretty. Um, you can, I, I like to give it a shake first just to mix it all up. And then I'm going to tip it on top. Like that. Give it a little push down just to make sure it's all stuck. Goodness sakes. You know when you have days that you just can't get your head around life? Oh, today's my day. All right. Sorry, whinge over. So now I'm going to shake that off. And now I've got all of the... Oh, I missed a bit. Okay, so I'll show you in a moment how to fix that. I'm going to pop this aside. I'm going to leave it sitting on the paper, but I'm going to pop it aside. Um, having a pair of tweezers handy is a huge, huge lifesaver because 
It is heat. It is hot. So you need to not burn your fingers. I know, right? Obvious. But it's going to work. So you can't do this with a hairdryer um, because it will just blow off the crystals and you don't want that to happen. Um, I'm just getting right in there. I'm watching it go. I'm heating it from both sides so that it gives a really good range of heat going through. And you can see that that's turning. And it is melting. So something else that I can do, I can do a double emboss, which means while it is still hot and while it is like, it actually goes a bit like molten lava because as soon as you touch it with your fingers, it burns. But I can drop that straight back in there and it's going to pick up some extra bits and then I have to remelt those. And then it's just making that really thin thick and glossy, really thick and glossy and juicy. And those beautiful pink flakes are still sitting on top there. So that little um, leaf that I have missed, I can go back and I'm not going to touch it because it's going to be hot, but I really want to touch it. Yeah, okay, so yep, it's still hot. Goodness sakes, Natalie. So a couple of things I could do. I could dip it back into the ink pad, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use a little bit of glue. So I've just got my Lawn Fawn glue here. It still works as a medium for the glit on. So that little bit there that I've missed. Um, I have to apologise if the screen freezes every now and again. Um... It is generally because the weather messes with my Wi-Fi. But you play, if you play it back, it'll be uh, all in one. It kind of knits together. All right. So a little bit of glue on that leaf and then it is done. So that looks amazing. All righty. So that's you. All right, so, oh, I just put the lid on that when I should have actually popped that into there. So on chipboard, super duper easy. So there are lots of different sorts of chipboard. It'll work on all of the chipboards. So get into the habit of putting your lid straight back on because, oh, my God, it just goes everywhere and it's grainy and it can um, make a big difference to your cleaning space. So another thing that you can do is you can heat from underneath. So on a piece of black cardstock, what I will do is I'll show you how it works. I'm going to use, what am I going to use this time? Um, no, no, maybe. Can't find the one that I want, of course. This one, silence is golden. So what I'd like to do here is I want it to be that I want to have a really speckled look to it, right? So this time I'm going to heat from underneath. I'm going to give it a little bit of something to stick to. So I'm going to give it a just a little bit of my finger onto here to start off with. And then I'm going to give it a shake. and sprinkle it on. So this is a really good technique for mixed media projects. So I've got it all on there. And what I'm going to do is just spread it out with my finger like that, and then heat it from underneath. So if I heat it from the top, what's going to happen is it's all going to blow off. So if you heat it from underneath, without burning your hands, 
it will melt. And this is a really great way of watching the crystals melt. It's just starting to turn now. I probably put a little bit too much on. In fact, I know I put too much on. But here we go. So if I hit it from the top now, it's kind of set that end and the crystals won't blow away. And now I can turn it around from this side and that's still hot, by the way. And yes, I should be using tweezers, um, but you know what? Let's commit to it. Oh my gosh. So really, really beautiful and you can see and it's, well, it's allowing for the speckles to stick out of the side of the cardstock. And because that's kind of solidified, I can now hit it with the heat gun on the top and melt the rest of that patch. So from here, there's lots of things I can do. I can add stamping into that little molten lava mess of beautiful, ow, hot embossing powder. Um, or I can leave it as something like that because that looks pretty amazing. That colour is beautiful. And it's a really good way of seeing all the different colours that come out of one embossing powder. So this is the Silence is Golden. So that looks pretty good. Oh, there's that shimmer. Lovely. Um, and on black cardstock, looks pretty great. So... Um, Really, really nice, easy technique. Um, metal. So I've got a lot of metal embellishments. Lots of things like this. And so this is the Tim Holtz metal plate. I've actually got those online in my shop at the moment. Um, and they are great little embellishments. And over the years, I've collected all sorts of um, metal findings and things like that. What you can do with these is heat emboss them. You can change the colour of them. So if I find my lovely green one, the Carefree Verdigris, which I know I'm, I'm probably saying wrong, but you know what? Let's commit to it. What I can do, I can take this and put it straight. I didn't shake it. Straight into... Um, have that ready. I'm going to do this two ways. So I'll do the top like this. So I've got my piece of paper and now I can do that. So a couple of important points, points when you're doing this is do not, where's my lid? Hang on. Do not use your hands to heat this up because it is metal. I know it's obvious, but the amount of times it, I want to touch it after I'm heat embossing it and burn my fingers is just ridiculous. All right, here we go. It's just starting to turn now. The degree. Okay, thank you, Julie. Clearly, English is not my first language here today. Oh, so that is turning and looking gorgeous. And all of the embossing powder is soaking into the detail of that little frame. So that, I'm just going to drop that down before I burn myself. Um, that's looking amazing. The other thing that you can do is I'm going to tip all of this out onto here. And I'm going to heat up my leaf, completely heat it up. And then I should be able to drop the metal leaf straight into the embossing powder. That's And the heat of the leaf, of the metal, is going to... 
Yeah, so the um, leaf has had all the powder stick to it. Gorgeous little embellishments for your projects. Oh, that's worked so well. Um, the camera doesn't really show how awesome it looks, so I will take some really lovely close-up photos of these and post them after. Verdigree. Carefree Verdigree. I need to say it right. Gosh. So that... Oh, and I'm not going to touch it because it's hot. Oh, for far, far out. I nearly swore. Sorry. All right, here we go. Can you see that? Yep. Alrighty, so that's looking pretty good too. So just dropping it into there is working a treat. Um, I need to put that somewhere so I don't touch it because I bloody will. So for those of you who have got a few little metal cogs floating around and bits and pieces like that, a great way of changing the colour of them is heating them up or, like I said, use your embossing ink pad straight onto it as well. So that will work. That heating up first will drop that and dropping it in will work really well with this one. So I'll actually finish that off and um, off camera. There we go. I'll finish that off off camera and take some photos of it after. So, But that's looking pretty cool. And it's chunky and and shiny and it has texture and I think it looks great. Okay, what else is on my list? Stenciling. Oh my god. Okay, so this gets me excited because stenciling on um, paper with embossing powder is great. So I've just got a piece of Kayser Craft cardstock. I've got one of my new little stencils here uh, and I'm going to use these fine dots before I do anything, the first thing I need to do is get my embossing powder sorted. So I'm going to go with one of the super fine embossing powders this time. So I've got the copper. Copper, copper, copper. So what I'm going to do here, I could use, I've got these little um, VersaCube stamp pads in the shop. Um, that's going to work. I could use my Distress ink. How did I lose the lid? Oh, here it is. My um, Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Ink. You could use whatever your medium is and dab it straight on. I like to use Impasto Gel Medium. Just to do something a little different. So basically I'm creating a medium for it to stick to. So straight on. I just find this easier with a stencil. What is that purple bit? Okay, bit of bonus there. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of that just to make sure that I'm getting in all of the area. Pull it up. Oh, okay, so the purple bit was just on the stencil. Awesome. Wipe off my stencil because it's gel medium, so it's going to stick and it's going to dry if you don't clean it off. Now... The next step is to sprinkle it on. So this is the Cool Man Copper. And this is actually dried because it's the Impasto Gel Medium. It's actually dried with a little bit of body to it. So you can see that it's got a little bit of texture as well. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on. Ah, look, let's just stick it on there. And my bit of paper is here. So, of course, the embossing powder is only going to stick where I put the liquid. Give it a little tap, shake off any excess, and put that straight back in the container before I spread it all over my desk because I'm sure we've all done that. So Cool Man Copper is a beautiful copper and it's gonna have a really lovely sheen to it. 
I've got an old makeup brush here and I'm just going to tidy up any little bits here that I don't want to be embossed. And then off we go. Oh man, I've got embossed. Far out. Sorry guys. And then I need to heat set that. So when this is heat set... Sorry, I'm just having a little, I had a little spill off camera here that I'm just trying to clean up. Um, so when we heat set this one, it's a little bit thicker. So I heat from underneath. Because it's gel medium and it's got a little body to it, I heat from underneath and I heat from the top. Give it a second and it starts to turn. Here we go. It's going to take a little bit longer because it has got that gel medium to dry at the same time and then the embossing powder is sitting on top of the gel medium. What else do you use impasto for, Fiona is asking. Okay, impasto gel medium, I use it for everything <laughs> every i think every facebook live i've done i've used it i use it for collaging i use it for all sorts of bits and pieces um it's an it, it's an excellent adhesive all right so you can see that i have stenciled with that and it's got a shine to it as well i'm trying to get the shine to come up on camera there it is um and it's got a little body to it so i really really love that um, very, very clever little uh, trick to do. Um, the next thing on my list, what am I doing? Half an hour, I'm doing okay, is double-sided tape. Has anybody embossed with double-sided tape? I learnt this a like, million years ago and I can't find my roller tape because I had it out and I was... Oh, here we go. Um... I learned to do this with double-sided tape years and years ago and I had totally forgotten how to do it. So, well, or the fact, not so much how to do it, but the fact that I could do it. So I've just got some 12 mil, some 3 mil tape and some 6 mil, just normal Australian Express it double sided tape. Um, and oh, look, if I had my scissors, I'd cut that off, but I can't find my scissors. I'd take off my expose my tape. Like so. Um, so today's special of the day. Ladies and ladies, I don't think there's any guys watching, um, is double-sided tape. Foam tape, silicon tape, wonder tape. It's all on special for today only. So if you need tape, today is the day. It will not be available on special tomorrow. Um, I'm going to use poinsettia red gold. This is a really nice Christmas gold. Um, and ages ago, I used to swatch on the top. Obviously, that wore thin. So I've got my three pieces of tape sitting there, and I'm just going to... So my powder has stuck to the tape. And now... Oh, lid on, Natalie, lid on. So now I can heat set that. So, tweezers. Um, I had a shipment of tweezers in this week too, ladies. So, if you want some long nose pointy tweezers, I am your girl. They are inexpensive and... Oh, look at that. It's starting to turn. Um, and the best tool... As you can see, mine are super old. Um, oh, come on.
Heat set and done. How do you know if it has set properly? Look at it. If it's shiny, it's done. Um, I'm just going to, off camera, I've just dipped that back into that puddle of red embossing powder. And I can add some more to make it shiny and glossy. Glossy, glossy, glossy. And there we go. So now I'm going to see if I can get that up on camera to show you. Oh, yeah, you can. You can see that shimmer that's sitting on top of that colour. So that's beautiful. So Christmas cards and Christmassy things. Um, that. All right. So I reckon I've covered just about all the really cool things that you can do with um, embossing powder. So we used, just to recap, we used a stencil and some gel medium, sprinkled it over and then heat set it to get that lovely, lovely finish. We, on this one, I sprinkled it on the top and heated it from underneath so that it is a blob that I have, that has no shape. But if I had a, you know, I was creating a tag or a card or something like that, I could create something really awesome around there. So that's really cool. Um, what else did we do? We did, oh, we did these. We did our, our leaf. So this is the one that I heated up the leaf and then dipped it into the embossing powder. So that was a silver leaf, as you can see there. And then I used one of the Tim Holtz name plates, which this one is the antique silver, and I popped the ink pad straight onto there and changed the colour of that. So yes, I used the verdigris, but if I was to do this in the gold, it might look pretty damn spectacular. Uh, we did... This one here, which is the white stamping and then some of the Lindy's Gang Magicals in and around there to have a bit of a play with those um, colours as well. Um, and of course, like I've done on my, my swatches here, you can get a embossing pen and write in your own fabulous handwriting and then heat emboss that. There's no reason why you can't do that. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, oh, and the chipboard. So this is the chipboard with the heavy, chunky embossing powder on it too. And you can see those pink flecks sitting at the top there. They just look amazing. So they work really, really good. Um, so, yeah, I guess, is there anything else that you want to sh want me to show you while I'm here? Do you want to see a little bit more about these magicals? Give me a thumbs up or a I'm boring you to tears. Give me something. Because when you're sitting here by yourself, <laughs> yes, there's one thumbs up. That's all I need. Um, you know what I'm going to do first? Okay, cool. People have obviously, obviously got some time to kill during lockdown. I'm just going to put this back in here before I accidentally lose it everywhere. Okay, so the new set of Lindy's embossing, sorry, the new set of Lindy's magicals. I want to talk to you about those. Um, sorry, just off camera, I had to go and get the other set. I'm just making a clean spot here because I've got crap everywhere. Okay, so what we're looking at here are the Mountain Meadows Flat Magicals. And these have been designed by Aga from AB Studios. These are $30 for the set, less 15% at the moment. So that is a bargain in itself. So what you do with these is... paintbrush. I've got Stormy Sky. 
So Stormy Sky is a beautiful colour. So you can do... You can make up a little palette. Can you tell that I spilt that? Um, you can make up a little palette here, which is what I, I tend to do the most. So this colour that I've already made up here is the Stormy Sky. Um, I've got Evergreen Emerald. So I'll make up this one for you and I'll do some swatches as well to show you in a moment to show you how amazing they are. So that is the emerald. So you can see that I put in there like barely, barely a, a, a freckle of it. Um, Fox Love Fuchsia. You can look, and you look at that and it's super concentrated. You can see that you don't need very much. Lid back on immediately because this stuff is messy if you spill it on the carpet and your cute little bulldogs walk all the way through it in the house. Okay, so the Flat Magicals. Flat Magicals have no shimmer. They are fantastic because they have got an amazing pigment. They are a pigment dye-based powder, which means that you can mix them with anything. So you can mix them with water, which is what I'm doing here. You can mix them with um, paint. You can mix them with power, uh, like paste, like modeling paste. But you have full control over activating the color and making it as intense as you like. So the one that I made up earlier was Stormy Sky. which is amazing. Oh, my water's on the wrong side. Sorry, guys. Um, and then the emer Evergreen Emerald, which rocks. Mountain Meadow Green. So these have no shimmer to them. Magicals. Those colours are amazing. So the cool thing about Magicals is that you've got full control over how intense these colours are. So I can lighten it up by just adding more water. Just straight water, no colour, and it becomes much lighter. Okay. Or... I can make it more intense by oh, what I'll do I'll, by making more, adding more colour to it and allowing it to dry. I can heat set it because it's just water, or I can let it dry naturally. I can build up my my colour. The other thing that I can do is add some shimmer to them. So this is where this gorgeous gleaming gold comes into play. So from here, I can take this guy and with my paintbrush, which is wet, not dripping, I can just put a little on my brush and oh, bring it up to the camera, hang on. And I can now make that shimmery. So I'll do that with the other colours. So here's the blue with this gleaming gold. The green, oh, that's a lot of gold. So now they have a shimmer, just like that. So this will, whoops, not enough. And I'm doing it while it's wet. And then some over the top of that last one. So you can see now that beautiful shimmer. So that is what the single pot of the Gleaming Gold does. Now, I haven't even opened these except for to clean it because it exploded in travels. Um, this is the brand spanking new Glitzy Magicals. And as you can see, mine didn't travel as well. 
So, same thing. When you, you can't just yank the top off. Grab your scissors or something and put it in here and pop it off. So, let's have a go. I haven't even, like I said, I haven't even swatched these myself. So let's have a go here. We have got Ritzy Rose Gold. Oh, hang on. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, sorry, Fiona. It's the, the Wi-Fi. If my Wi-Fi drops out, you can go back and watch it and it should be uh, uninterrupted. Or maybe there's a sensor on it that blots out my swearing. Huh. Anyway, okay, so this one is the Ritzy Rose Gold. Let's go. So this is just, oh, this is on the flat Kazercraft cardstock. And like I said, I haven't even swatched these myself yet. So these will mix with anything to give it a rose gold undertone. The more water you add, the more intense it's going to be. So that's pretty awesome. Okay. Then we have got Showstopper Copper. Best names, guys. Oh, that's nice. So that is a lot different to the rose gold. That has got a real, real, real copper undertone to it really pretty so vicky these are called the glitzy magicals you will actually find them in the new arrivals in august um, on the website nataliemay.com.au and they are 15 percent off um, this is the glitzy gold this is the one that her <laughs> leaked in postage for mine um because somebody hadn't done the lid up. So just a wet paintbrush, not a dripping paintbrush. Oh, that's a bit too much, but you know what? Let's commit to it. Oh. 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 Oh, I've got no words. Because that never happens. Okay, that's that's just freaking awesome. So that's the glitzy gold. Um, I'll do that one last. Okay, I can't even say that. <laughs> scintillating, scintillating silver. Okay, maybe I can say it. There we go. Okay, this one's going to rock my world too, I reckon. Oh, hang on, a bit more water. Yeah. So I, I'm just totally, all the possibilities in my head at the moment. Oh, I wonder what this looks like on black. Hang on. Um, yeah, my, my mind is going crazy. <gasps> Sorry, I sound like a total idiot because I have seriously not swatched these until now. So um, apologies for sounding like a teenager. Um, so my favorite set of magicals that I go back to again and again and again is called Caribbean Cruise and they are the primary colors like the bright yellow, bright blue, bright pink, bright orange, bright green and um, I'm going to mix these with those. So this last color is called Snazzy Sparkle. Oh, baby, 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 baby. A bit more water. You've got to dissolve that powder. So that is essentially a clear. All right, so on the black cardstock, it is, uh, a, it has, it's a lot clearer than the silver. Oh, so now I have to swatch the rest on black. Oh, my God. Um, so... Oh, I'd you sit here and listen to me have little orgasm moments here. Sorry, girls. Um, but yeah, really, really cool product. Oh, look, I've nearly been on for an hour now. I'm so excited about these. Um, so the big thing is 
for you guys, they're 30% off. Uh, so while I'm having a bit of a play with these, I'll just remind you, anybody who orders over this weekend, not only did you get to take advantage of these awesome specials, you help a little family business in Adelaide. Um, you keep a 17-year-old in a job because Jessica does um, a lot of my website work for me. Um, you, oh, you keep me doing what I love which is crafty things and doing this. Um, but most importantly, you go in the drawer to win some of my new stamps and stencils. So I will be doing an order, sorry, be doing a live Facebook, probably, I might do it Monday night because I'm having my hair done Monday. So um, I might have a nice little haircut. Um but yeah, I'll do it a live on air draw, maybe Monday or Tuesday night. So, all right, here we go. This is the set. So on black, ritzy gold, ritzy rose gold, showstopper, glitzy gold, scintillating silver, snazzy sparkle, and on white, same thing again. We've got the gorgeous rose gold, showstopper copper, Glitzy gold, scintillating silver, and snazzy sparkle. Mind blown. They are just amazing. And look at that. That's what they look like over the top of that beautiful new Mountain Meadows set. Oh, okay. So Diane's just commented and said, looks like another order to add. So for those of you who are adding to your orders, um, you can... Just when you get to the cart section and you go to pay for your order, select hold until uh, hold to put with your other orders. You do still need to process it. You um, otherwise you'll miss out on the items. But um, and so you need to still, still still pay for it. But uh, it all goes together in the one lot of postage. So um, I haven't even started packing orders yet. I just have a pile of paper on my desk. So lots and lots there for me. I'm going to take some photos of all of this stuff and upload them to show you with the links to Lindy's. So the embossing powder, 15% off. The um, Lindy's Magicals are 15% off. Uh, Distress Oxides and Refills are 15% off. There's lots of things on special. And today's special is the double-sided tape. And for those of you who had forgotten about doing this, like me, like seriously amazing, get on it. Um, have a fantastic day. Thank you, guys. Um, love the shit out of you, and I'll chat to you soon.